Hi, it's Taz, back from NAB. So one of the potential coolest uses for an iPad, I think, is as a virtual control surface. Meaning like, uh, instead of getting a $1,000, $2,000 mixing board, having a virtual mixing board on the iPad that still works the same, use your fingers to control the faders and such, but this app might cost you 10 bucks, 20 bucks versus you know, a, a multi-thousand dollar board. So the idea of, of taking something real and making it virtual. Uh, along the same lines, Stu Mashewitz uh, has a blog called Pro Lost. If you don't read it, you should. It's an awesome blog. And he posted a mock-up image that he created of a color control surface on an iPad. And as soon as he published this, people started emailing me like crazy, asking me if this was a real thing and where they can get it. And I had to break the news to them that it was just a mock-up and, uh, and just a concept, a proof of concept, just an idea. Um, but a great idea, uh, one that I'm sure inspired plenty of authors to run down to their basements and start coding. Um, but I, while I was at NAB, I met a guy named Clinton Torres who had in fact already been working on this idea and he had a working version of his program Gradius that he showed me and it's pretty spectacular, it works with the Cineform product right now. Um, so anyway, I shot a quick interview with him and he, he demonstrates the product. It's not uh, ready for uh, release yet, he's still working on it, but uh, it's a cool indication of what's coming. So uh, take a look at this video. Hi, I'm Clinton Torres. I've made a multi-touch color control surface for the iPad. It works right now with Cineform First Lite. They have a plug-in architecture in the back end, which works really smoothly for this kind of uh, interface. And the idea is to take the functionality of a control surface and see what, what we can mirror on an iPad. You lose the tactile feedback, but you gain some adaptability if we're lucky. So it's kind of a new market segment. We're not sure exactly who's going to want this, but we know that it's going to be <laughs> We, we know that it's, it's going to be very useful for people. So, so the general idea is it works just like the three coated wheels on a control surface where you can control your lift, gamma, and gain all separately. You can control master levels of your, your, of your wheel with a secondary finger. And you have individual controls for the specific settings in first light. You have things like exposure, contrast, uh, white balance, temperature and tint, and overall saturation. Um, it was built originally on the iPhone, which is why it's on the iPad so quickly. A lot of the controls had to be kind of hidden and moved out of the way because it didn't have a lot of real estate on the iPhone. So this is the, the, the first iPad conversion. We've got the, the proof of principle up and running, and we hope to make this interact with as many different control programs as we can.